This video will cover basic information about coding, coding systems, and types of variables in coding, including binary, ordinal, nominal, and continuous. Coding is the process of translating the information gathered from questionnaires and other investigations into something that can be analyzed, usually using a computer program. Coding involves assigning a value to the information given in a questionnaire, and often that value is given a label. Coding can make the data more consistent. For example, if you ask the question, what gender, you might end up with the answers male, female, M, F, etc. Coding will avoid such inconsistencies. A common coding system for binary variables is the following. 0 equals no, and 1 equals yes, where the number is the value assigned, and the yes or no is the label of that value. Some like to use a system of 1s and 2s, where 1 equals no and 2 equals yes. This brings out an important point in coding. When you assign a value to a piece of information, you must also make it clear what the value means. In the first example, 1 equals yes, but in the second example, 1 equals no. Either way is fine, as long as it's clear how the data are coded. You can make it clear by creating a data dictionary as a separate file to accompany the dataset. A binary variable is any variable that is coded to have two levels, like this example. In SAS, data representing gender, coded as MF, would be converted into a binary variable. Here's an example. If we're asking about the number of years of education a person has, with a value of 1 for each year of education, that would mean anyone with more than 12 years of education has been to college, and anyone with less than 12 years of education has not been to college. We can recode into a binary yes-no variable by saying that if education is greater than 12, that implies that college equals 1, otherwise college equals 0. This type of coding is useful in descriptive and predictive analytics. The coding process is similar with other categorical variables. For the variable education, we might code as follows. 0 equals did not graduate from high school, 1 equals high school graduate, 2 equals some college or post high school education, and 3 equals college graduate. Note that for this ordinal categorical variable, we need to be consistent with the numbering because the value of the code assigned has significance. The higher the code, the more educated the respondent is. In SAS, we would convert years of education to education categories like this. Here's an example of what not to do. 0 equals some college or post high school education, 1 equals high school graduate, 2 equals college graduate, and 3 equals did not graduate from high school. Can you tell what's wrong with this example? The data we're trying to code has an inherent order, but the coding in this example does not follow that order. Here's the correct way to do it. For nominal categorical variables, however, the order makes no difference. Here's an example. For the variable reside, 1 equals northeast, 2 equals south, 3 equals northwest, 4 equals midwest, and 5 equals southwest. It doesn't matter what order we use for these categories. Midwest can be coded as 4, 2, or 5 because there's not an ordered value associated with each response. Continuous variables are usually left in the same format as they are in the original dataset. However, be careful about missing values and miscoded data. You may also need to code responses from fill-in-the-blank and open-ended questions. With an open-ended question such as, why did you choose not to see a doctor about this illness, respondents will all answer differently. Also, you may give response choices for a particular question, but offer an other specify option as well, where respondents can write whatever response they choose. These types of open-ended questions can be a lot of work to analyze. One way to analyze the information is to group together responses with similar themes. For the question, why did you choose not to see a doctor about this illness, responses such as, didn't feel sick enough to see a doctor, symptoms stopped, and the illness didn't last very long, could all be grouped together as, the illness was not severe. You will also need to code don't know responses. Typically, don't know is coded as 9. That concludes our video on coding with variables. Today we covered some basic information about coding, coding systems, and types of variables in coding, including binary, ordinal, nominal, and continuous. 